Welcome back to Let's Solve Bridge. Thank you I'm for just, dropping uh, the skating Sonic. around here. <laughs> yes, uh, Let's Solve Bridge, a game that has quite a lot in common with Sonic the Hedgehog we've yep. been discussing. Here All we right. are about to enter World 4. Yeah, that slipping animation is so frustrating. I don't know what Why? it is about it, but just when I'm, when I'm playing it, just the fact that there's a certain point where you just start slipping, I don't know, it always kind of... I don't know. I look at it as more of like a dancing thing. I mean, if we had the right music behind this, I think this guy's really getting down. Uh-huh. I don't know. It's fancy just, footwork. I, I know it's like the whole point and part of the puzzles is how little control you have over your character in this game. And like how little control you have in general. They actually did quite a few animations for the guy. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he has got walking, this, like, climbing trudging. up a hill, slipping. Oh my god! For him, it is literally true that he can walk uphill both ways. Aha! That's good. That'd be like a good log line for this uh, game. Alright, here we go. Yeah, okay, maybe thread title, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a cube within a cube on a painting here. Uh oh. Are we gonna play Fez? The Veil. Yeah. This is a right. different one of the pixels. This is my least favorite mechanic. I really... Oh, ah, cool. It's a cool idea, but I still don't fully understand it because it was not... It, I do not believe it is taught very well. Uh -huh. Well, apparently I need that key. Okay. So let's see how close I can get to this mysterious shower curtain without losing the key. And the answer is not close enough. Bummer. Oh, but that'll help. Ah, well, it would almost help if I wasn't an idiot. All right, so key. Oh, the key's falling up. Why is the key falling up? Okay. This is the tutorial puzzle, I will remind myself. What? Alright, I have imbued my life force into the key. So now I am the key? No. I am not the key. What is going on? Am I like... Oh, the key is not, not upside down gravitized when I'm in this shower curtain. As long as I'm taking a shower, the key will obey gravity. Is that the mechanic? No. No, it's not. But it does have something to do with me taking a shower. Yes. Something very, very important happens when you go behind the veil. The Rook. Hey, buddy. Oh, this guy is not anti-gravity like the last one was. All right. Yeah, I thought that might happen. We should appreciate how awesome the set design is in this level. Yeah, the chessboard's really cool. Huh. Okay, this one you actually just need to rotate it enough that it rolls ahead of you. Like, rotate harder. There. Ah, uh, right. Huh, okay. But I can't rotate too hard or it will loop-de-loop -loop onto me. Uh, that wasn't great. All right, let's try so this. So note, note that it does not have exactly the same gravity that you do. It's not... All right, chill out, little ball there. 
what's going on? It's yeah, it's weird. It's it's it not picks up quite speed right. when it goes uphill. Okay, Matt, I'm gonna tell you. Just reset this puzzle, and then you want to get it through, and then stop yourself in the curtain the first time. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna get it through. And I'm gonna stop myself. Yep. Just, no. Don't curtain. rotate any further. Just don't. Ow. You you left the curtain. No, you left the curtain. Oh man, it's very particular about. What do you mean I left okay. the curtain? I'm here's not what I here, All right, that's fair. Here's I can't see exactly. I would like you to enter the veil oh, and immediately, without moving your feet, continue rotating the direction you were just rotating. All right, let's give that a try. Walk in and rotate. Okay, so I ignore gravity in the veil. Correct. And what you are doing, and I'm just going to tell you this because it took me a while to figure it out because this is so goddamn poorly taught, is that when you are inside the veil, you are changing the gravity for objects that have the mottled color. Oh, that's what those tiny little wisps that are floating yep. out. So when you're inside there, you are setting which direction is down for that ball. Or yeah, that's key. an interesting mechanic, but they needed to... I think it, it could be as simple as just making those little wisps on the screen that indicate which direction gravity is a bit more pronounced. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But this it's, it's poorly taught, and it is intensely confusing. There's at least one or two puzzles in this world that I mostly stumbled through by luck. Now here they do something helpful, which is they have a lamp, a hanging lamp, that specifically indicates the direction of gravity for the veiled world. Yeah, I like that. Why is this ball not moving? All right. I have no so... idea why it's not moving, to be honest. Oh, it's chained together. The ball has a chain running through it, and it's being held in place. Huh. So, as long as I don't go near it, I'll be fine. All right, so now I'm controlling gravity for this little ball. And I got it onto a switch. Which did something cool, I guess? I didn't actually see what it did. Oh, maybe it unlocked the door. Oh, that's a little confusing. Yeah. All right, now let's just walk through the door. Oh, the ball needs to stay on the switch. Which I may just luck out and have happen accidentally. Turn more. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, and see, this is the part where it's like, I just, I can't, I can't wrap my head around this. I literally can't keep track of like, okay, so I need my gravity to be this and his gravity. All right, hang on. So that. stop, st pause. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Go no, back. I wanted, to I wanted to go all the way back into the veil. Yeah, but go to the door for a second. Like walk well, back, on, me... walk back over to the door. I'm gonna tell you how I think you need to think about this. Are you sure it's not just a matter of, like, really making sure that that thing is cemented on here? No, it's not. It is not that. Go back to the door for a sec. All right. Oh, I get it. Those balls are chained in place so that you can't walk around to those passages. Okay, get the yeah. door so that you are perfectly upright and so that the lamp in your direction is hanging nicely. Okay, now... Here's what you need to do. So the lamp below you is indicating your gravity. The other two lamps are indicating the veiled gravity. Yeah. You need those lamps to be pointing to exactly the left. In other, Hang on, hang on. In other words, when you go behind the veil, you're going to want to set them up so that they are at a 90 degree angle to the normal lamp. Just a 90 degree. Yep. So that they are 
they not, are the not X exactly axis. the opposite. So they are the x-axis to the y-axis formed by the regular land. So go back. Behind are you sure they shouldn't just positive. be exactly the positive. opposite? Positive, 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 positive. So go back behind the All veil right. now. Can do. All right. Hang on, I think. But I need to get the ball over there nope, first. Nope, nope, you don't. You're good. Is that is that what you're trying to yep, do? Yep, now go right. now walk over to the door. Huh. That didn't quite work out for you. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. You needed to get the ball over there first. Okay, yeah. So you'll want to rotate. There now, we there we go. And now... Perfect. Now see how the gravity is keeping it pressed against the button. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I, I don't like these puzzles. I don't like them at all. I cannot... They're so awkward. No, I think I get it. Okay, good. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. All right. So this one in particular, I <clears throat> had I had to I gave up and closed the game several times before I finally finished it. So is this just a There is one correct There's just three path. chambers. Yep. And there is one correct path from you to the door. That's probably not that one. But there are just three chambers. I don't I don't think there's any way that I could like if I walk in a circle I'll I'll get out a different way. Nope. Like Nope. The only way to go from chamber to chamber is using these inversions. Correct. Lines. So I can change the gravity for these fellows. Though I'm not really sure what the benefit of that is. Because there is only one correct path to the chamber. Okay, hang on, reset the puzzle real fast. I wanna I wanna point out something. The key that you need is gray and it's in the chamber with the door. Correct? Yeah. Alright. That means you have to first go in the opposite direction so that you can invert twice before you get to that room so you can pick up the key. So that's and predetermined I might... for you. Yeah. Now the and question that happens. Is, well, change the angle at which you invert. I'm not sure that's possible. Huh. I think that's why the veil is important. Because I can't get through this right now. Okay, then you're right. Then you have to go around the other way you were going the first time. I'm sorry. And you just no, have to I, make... I only... You'll have to make two full circuits, basically. Yep. All right. All right, so I need to pay careful attention to which direction gravity is when I enter this veil. Pay careful attention to and try to understand it. This is where I just completely lost it. I just was not able to plan out a route in this thing at all. I kind of just got lucky. Trial and error. Okay, now I want to make it so that... Ah, I'm using the wrong buttons, damn it. Okay. Ah, man. Why does it make my character go upside down? So I know. Like... Okay, it inverts your controls, too. That's the most annoying part. All right, I'm going to make this exactly 180 to where it is now. Well, no, what it does is it maintains your controls in the orientation you were when you entered the veil. It doesn't invert your controls to reflect the visual orientation of the screen. Yeah, correct. All right, so now that I've done that, I actually need to go backwards. Is that the idea? I think that is the idea. But can I? I don't know. Can you bark? Is that a thing you can do? <laughs> is that part of the solution? Yes. The menaces will Oops. probably go away if we bark at them loud enough. 
That is uh, what Frey suggested. Mm -hmm. We can also try whining at them. <laughs> Menaces, don't you hear this? All right, so my plan was to change gravity, backtrack, and have everything work. You can't backtrack. That you gotta keep going flawed. around. You gotta keep going around in the circle. All right. So let's see what I can do with the gravity like that. Is that gonna be possible? I think the ball is gonna be stuck there, huh? Didn't quite get it right. All right, let's reverse it and try again. You know, the problem is I, you can't, at least I can't plan it. Like, I just can't think far enough ahead to, okay, okay so where do I need the ball to be when I'm here? So that key is gray, but not gravity gray. That's yeah, the other is. annoying thing. Wait, is the key also veil gravity? It's not veil. No, it's it, not is, veil. it is gra gray gravity then. It's gray, but it's not veiled. Right. So it's gray gravity. Okay, sure. But that's what's confusing me, is because I, I was thinking I could... I don't have a barometer. I don't have a lamp on this level. Like, the last right. level had the two lamps, yep. and it was really easy for me to... Or much easier for me to figure yep. it out. For the key, you just have to get yourself into their wall gray. Oh, yeah. I certainly understand uh, that element of it. I'm just having trouble finding a way to make myself able to do loops. Yeah... I do not like this puzzle. Alright. So, where's this little fella going? He's being pulled down there. That's got him stuck on the ceiling. Oof, that was close, but it worked. Now I can get rid of this guy. Okay. All right, now now I'm going to be gray when I get in there, so this is going to work. Assume you, you can get that menace out of your way. Oh, which of course you can, because you have you can reset it in the veil as you pass through. Yep. Okay. So spin, yeah, like that. Nice. All right, let's go get that key. Uh, Walk to the right. I'm trying to, but the gravity that I left my dude in is so, like, he barely is standing still, so he had to really, like, trudge oh, his Jesus way out of there. Christ. <laughs> That's confusing. All right. All right, we got the key. Now we just now have I to just make one our more way loop. all the way around in one direction or the other. Let's see if we can do it from this angle. I think I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Don't do that. I gotta find a way to get this other ball out of the way. Oh, the is it? The second ball is right below. Oh, then you have to go back or back the other direction. Yep. Sure do. Okay. Fair enough. Would that even work, though? Because then I'll be, uh... Yep. Yep, White, it'll work. It'll gray, work. It has white. to work okay. because this one can't. Ow. Yeah, just give it time to settle before you go through. I feel like I'm not cheesing this one. I think we're working working through it on our own. Mm-hmm. Okay. want that yeah maybe I do want this and then when I walk out no so gravity no come on man is that veil annoying okay but maybe that'll work Because he's got just enough. No, because what about the other ball? They've both got just enough that I can sort of help them like that. Ah. All right. And now you can go through? Yes. But I need... 
I really want him rotate, to go Rotate, rotate to the up. right. Rotate the other direction. No, he's gonna crush me. Oh, is he? Okay. Damn it. All right, let's go to right when I just teleported in. Okay. I think you need to reposition the veil. I am pretty sure you do. Yeah, I think so too. Shucks. I know. Stupid veil. Let's try it like that much. Maybe that's good enough. All right, let's try it. See what happens. No, it needs to be like a 180 from what it is. Okay, well, that's, that's <sighs> you can do that. Man, this is really annoying. I know. I wish it was a thing where it's like the left joystick is the veiled gravity and the right one, but you didn't have to actually keep going back to the veil. Well, except the whole point is you. that would make it way too easy if you could change the veil on the fly. What? Oh, man. This is... I just... Gravity is making me fall into the veil, and then I keep falling, and then I'm out of the veil, and it's oh, stupid and annoying. that's an idea. Yeah, it. why don't you go around on the other side of the veil? Like... That's yeah, that's what I just did on accident, but I think it was the I right think, idea. Yeah, I think that was the right thing also. Tip that back the other way, or tip it further forward? No, that didn't work. Yeah, you're right. I gotta get it the other way. Mm. Uh, let's go back to the veil when you're standing on the outside of the loop. I think, I think that might be the key that we were missing. Is just that you have to adjust it from when you're on the outside. All right. So what, like that maybe? Sure, let's find out what happens. That was the wrong way. Man, I know, it's super annoying. Okay. Sweet. All right, that's one guy out of the way. How do I get this other guy out of the way? Tilt in a Man. direction and see what he does. So that's just gonna make me fall onto him. And that's... Oh, I can go around this way and maybe outrun him! Oof. Yeah, well... Actually, yeah! That is close, man. I'm cutting it very close here. Oh! That was so close! Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. This is actually a scenario where you may just be able to outrun it. No, I don't think I can. Huh. Man. Uh, is that as fast as you can rotate? Yeah, it seemed to be. Oops. Can you go the other way around? Like, if you, from the starting position in this, in this chamber, what if you rotate the other direction? All right, let's get to the starting position in this chamber. Yeah, what happened? That was actually the breakthrough that I had that caused me to make the progress that I did make. Okay, rotate yeah, right, to so the left and see if it rolls out of the way before... No. No. It's a really... It's definitely in a crevice down there, you know? There's... Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Um... Wait, can you rotate that way? You're going to die, but kill yourself in that same way again, if you would, please. Where I rotate to the left? Yeah, yeah. Stop there, stop there. No, no, go back, go back, go back. I want I want it to be upright so that the inverter that you're aiming for is straight up and down. Okay. okay. Yeah, just leave it there. I need to look at the world. Okay. So when this inverter is straight up and down, that's one of our lamp posts, our lamp chains. The other one needs to be pointing up and to the left. So an oblique angle pointing out of it. Okay, go back to the veil now. 
Go back to the All vent. Alright. I think I'm following what you're doing. Okay, so. Yeah, so a little the problem further, a little one further. is the one on the right. Rotate a little further to the right. Yep, that should be about right. Yeah, that seems like that might do it. That should do it. Try it. Okay, but now, so we fixed the problem with one of the balls, but now this other ball is rotate, uh, rotate, being rotate. wedged right in there. Rotate. Oh, that did work. Okay. So that did that. Rotate to the left. The other way? Yep, the other way. Yeah. Nope. Shit. Um... I can see the uh, the little gravity lines, and they're going exactly in the direction that would wedge that ball into that pocket right That's... now. No, 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 no. Um, I mean, they definitely are. I know, I know. What if... Hang on, go back to the veil. What if we made it... What if we set its gravity to be exactly opposite the inverter we're aiming for? Yeah, I think that's smart. What happens? So the inverter we're aiming for, now the gravity is exactly opposite. Okay, it. let's see if we can now get to that inverter. Um, it might be possible if I go around the edge. Okay. Oh, that is so annoying. You know, even if there was, like, a hotkey I could be holding down, and as long as I'm holding down that hotkey, it'll ignore the veil. Mm-hmm. Oh, I went through it too fast, but I think that'll work if I don't rush it so much. Okay. Wow, that's really weird. Got, like, a little shit sandwich going on here. Oh, dear. All right. I fucking How do hate I... this puzzle. I just... I don't know. So that's the level at which I can activate the inverter thing, huh? So let me get him all the way up here. And... Nope. Uh... Alright, I'm going back to the veil. Fuck it. Like I said, I just did this through trial and error. Yeah, the first part wasn't so challenging. I feel like at this point it really is a difference of degree. Yeah, it really is. That's the most annoying part about it. Okay, let's see. Alright, so we've tried it dead down and dead up, and I'm just gonna try it, like, you know, slightly off angle, so maybe it'll be possible to do both. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, we tried making it really easy to get out of the first room, and that didn't work. So then we tried making it really easy to get out of the second room, and that didn't work. So I'm gonna try and split the difference. And maybe that'll help. But I must have split the difference in the wrong direction, because that's just making it shittier for both. So let's try it again. Let's try going this way. No. Oh, I see. Um. No, that's not good. Hang on. Yeah, something like that. Like, get that inverter horizontal and see what happens. What you just did, in other words. Yeah. Ugh. Dizzying. All right. All right, now this gravity should keep that guy on the ceiling for me. No, it's not. Oh, I'm misreading it. I know. Okay, so try going the other way then. Hang on. That's nothing. There's no way I can get through it with that. 
There's such a small angle at which the second chamber, the non-veil chamber, will work. Because at almost all gravity angles, that ball is going to be drawn into that corner. Hmm. Maybe I had it there? Let's see. Does the inverter, when I go through the inverter, does it change the direction of the gravity as well? Or of the veil gravity? I don't know what I, I don't even oh know what the right gosh. terminology is. Oh my gosh, you might be right about that. Maybe let's, that's the reason. Let's it's pretend it does. Mind. Let's go back. The very first idea I had when we started trying to deliberately choose an angle. Go back to that. Go yeah. back to the veil when you're on the outside of the loop. Because here, let's just take a look really quick. Because right now, the gravity is going roughly in the direction of the inverter we're trying to get to. And then when I flip it, the gravity is going in the it, The gravity is keeping the ball stuck in the pocket where we don't want it. And here, the gravity is still keeping the ball stuck in the pocket where we don't want it. Okay, so, so no, it doesn't it, it change. But Tryson, go back to the veil when to. you're on the outside, if you would. Okay. Okay, let's find that angle that I liked. Um, no, turn rotate a bit to the right. Okay, so more like that. Yeah, something like this. Go 180 degrees opposite from this, if you would, right. without killing yourself. Should be possible. Something like that. I think so. Try that and see what happens. Hmm. It's going to be challenging to not get killed while I invert. But maybe it's possible? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Uh, I can't because the... I, uh -huh. There is enough time for me to get through the inverter, but the other ball doesn't move away fast enough. Was there a reason we decided we had to go this direction around as opposed to back all the all the way back where we came? Well, we tried the other one about three times and we're like, this is super frustrating. And then we started trying this one. <laughs> uh, and we've now tried this one many more times than three, so maybe you're right. Let's try it the other way. I'm just trying to think if I were if I was watching this in retrospect, what would I be yelling at myself about? <laughs> oh man. But I remember hating this puzzle when I was playing through it myself and taking forever on it. All right, well, something like that is what, roughly what we want. And I want to exit this way. And fuck it, let's give it a try. God, if this works on the first try, I'll be so full of an emotion. <laughs> it's hard to say which one at this point. Yeah, it kind of. Wow. Wow. Is the emotion pride? I feel no, like that actually would work if you just took it a little slower. Because that ball killed you because that had momentum. Come on, little buddy. Give it up. Nope. Damn it, the one underneath you isn't gonna move. It's not budging. It's the exact same problem we had where the balls just get stuck in this little pocket and there's so many... There's so many directions that the gravity could be going that would ha cause them to be stuck in this pocket and only one direction that would cause them not to be. Yep. And that's the most annoying part. 
And now I have to get all the freaking way back to that veil, which is super lame. Or do I? I guess I could try going around this guy somehow. Here, let's try going in it the other way. I don't know that that actually makes a difference. You end up with the same gravity either way. Man, yeah. This sucks a lot. Is there a skip puzzle button? I don't believe there is. This is like shelf moment right here, majorly, man. Shelf moment? It's like I've just done playing this game. I'm just gonna quit it. You know, put it back on the bookcase. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Mm hmm. Huh. Do you remember what this puzzle is called? No. Okay. It's World 4. Alright, let's think about this. There's a pocket where we don't like the ball getting stuck in the veil room. And there's a pocket where we don't like the ball getting stuck in the non-veil room. What gravity setting makes it really inconvenient for the balls to get stuck in both of those pockets? There's probably only one gravity setting. Looks like, yep. Is that, is that like this, maybe? I, I don't. Huge, like I just want this to end. Yeah, I'm 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 looking up walkthroughs now. No, that's not it. Alright, let's rewind all the way back. This is a hell of a thing. Any advice? I'm literally looking up solutions on YouTube. Did you know that there is a consulting company called Bridge Solutions? <laughs> what do they help you with? I have no idea. Maybe building bridges? Now I have the bridge soundtrack playing out of sync in two different videos. That's it. Yeah. Why are you so annoying? You know what else is annoying? That the inverters only work when you're in the same orientation as them. You have to be standing on the ground. Yeah. What the hell? This guy posted a three minute quote solution video where the first minute is just him walking around getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> the solution is this level is horrible, don't play it. Is that the solution that he came to? I don't know. He's muttering in, I think, German? I can't tell. Wait, what's the magic? Okay, Matt, get back to the veil on the inside, if you would, please. Okay. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this thing. I don't know if it's true. Is the first step getting back to the veil on the inside? Because that's gonna be That's a trivial. Challenge. Just go around in whichever direction will let you survive. Like that one. Whew. Man, this level has fried my brain. Okay. okay. 
Now, you know the um, the inverter that we're aiming for? Tilt slightly to the left. I want that at a 30 to, on the left upper left part of the screen. So the other direction. Okay. 30 degrees. Uh, the other 30 degrees. Because I went on the upper left of the screen. The inverter we're Wait, aiming referring for. Referring to... No, no, no. The, the next one. The next the... one. Okay. That one. Yeah, that one there. 30 degrees. He was literally so... pointing at his computer screen in, on the <laughs> camera. That should be in the upper left of the screen. Move that so it's in the upper left. Oh, okay. All the way up. Yep. And now 30 degrees off horizontal. So about there. All right. Okay. Give that a shot. Okay, and you don't have any idea why the hell you think this is the nope, solution. No, I'm just cop. I'm literally just copying the angle from this guy's walkthrough. And then what does he do? Does he walk around the outside or the inside here? Uh, inside. So what I'm about to do here, this is wrong. Although it seems like it might work. What the hell was that? Jesus. Okay. Oh, it died. Okay, you know what he fucking does? Where, where are you right now? I can't even see you. Uh, I just walked through. Okay, okay, Matt. Here's what his solution is. He tilts it so that he falls down to the left into there, and he hits the inverter right before he would die. Really? Really. No bullshit. So he just rotates it hard so you fall in. Okay, well, that wasn't hard enough. No, you didn't rotate it at all, so... No. Okay, this is the most bullshit fucking solution I've ever seen. Oh, what? yeah, that totally worked. Wait, That is a total hack. That is a total hack. You just Fuck found it. a bug. Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> Jesus, shit. Uh. Oh, my God, there's still two more levels. Well, that was the worst thing ever. That pretty much was. So remember when I told you you should cut the last video off at only like 23 minutes? Yeah. It's been about 45 for, for <laughs> World 4. Wow. Oh, God. The intersection. I think this cannot possibly be as bad. I do not have the same... <laughs> memories of just sheer unmitigated hatred for this level that I do for the last one. Alright, well, I'm trying to get myself to this veil. But I think I want to get the menace in the... Hmm. There's an annoying vortex that's going to be annoying. And now there's no way out of it. Okay. Wait, what happens when the menace hits its button? What does its button do? Both buttons remove a lock, and there's two locks on this. What Is removes, that not true? What removes the vortex? Oh, something removes the vortex. Yeah. But whose? Which button does that? Oh, they're labeled. One has a key, and one has a vortex. Oh. Handy. Okay, so this configuration does both. I misunderstood. I thought both buttons removed the key. So, I just want that little guy to be stuck down there while I get to the door. Is that so much to ask? Not um, possible. Okay, new plan is I want him to be hitting the vortex button. I, th I think first pl step is get him in the vortex. There you are. Nicely done. Okay. Now get Next yourself step. out of the way... So that... Oh. Ooh. That... I just... Bad, bad bounce on that one. Yeah, pretty much. Wait till it's at the lower end, I guess. There we go. Alright. Now get yourself in that vortex. Yep. This is easy. Mostly. Easy. There's still the veil itself that you haven't solved yet. Oh, how hard could that be? Just a simple veil puzzle. Well, see, now you can't let it get caught in the vortex anymore. Oh, right. Alright. 
So how do I even get myself into that veil? I don't actually know how I would do that. It's fine if it gets caught in the vortex, because I could always press the button with my press the button myself. But how do I want to change gravity? Like 90 degrees, maybe? I don't know. Since I don't understand this mechanic at all, uh, why not try 90 degrees? Okay, no, 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 hang on. This is a simple problem, uh, Matt. Yeah. Because you need it to be in the orient in. You need the gravity to be in orientation where it will hit the button when you can enter the door. Okay. So. I'm gonna restart the puzzle. Why? Because the ball is stuck in there and I couldn't get back to it. You were right. I was not able to press that button with my body. I think the first step is we get the ball in the vortex. Yep. Come on. Well, you can see by the hanging lamp what gravity it's responding to. All right, let's try it from this. Let's try it from this direction. Matt, look at the yeah, lamp that's... just over your head. That's the gravity the ball's using. No, I see it. I'm just having a little bit of trouble. Uh, there we go. The sword. Okay. I think, by the way, all of these levels should have uh, vortex lamps. Makes yeah. it much easier to solve. I, I agree. Okay. And by much easier, I mean, like, even remotely possible. Uh-huh. So now my question is, how do I get into this veil? Uh, well, let's see. Rotate it that way. Yeah, stop. Don't rotate it. Don't rotate it too far. Well, I do want the ball yeah, to but the not, switch, you, right? You want to know the edge of its tolerance, basically. So rotate a little back the other way. Okay, Matt, look at the gravity that's affecting it. You can tell exactly how far you need to tilt if you just keep an eye on the lamp. Well, what do you want me to do? Just get it into the switch? Exactly. Just enough. Yeah, to no, get I it. understand that. I thought there was something more complicated. Okay, so now I need to now, find a way to... Spin back the other direction. Yeah, like that. So that it rolls into the pocket rather than into the vortex. You want to roll it oh. gently. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. All right. That'll keep it stuck for a while. Now you just got to avoid perfect. All right. Now the trick is orienting it so that when you're on the door, it'll be pressed against the key button. Okay. So the gravity... Ah, careful. Ooh. But like that, right? Where's the door? The gravity's going down, and the door is on the right here. Okay, but so I don't look, care at, where look the at your door lamp. Is. That means that you need the lamps to be at 90 degree angles to each other. Yep, which they are. So that's good. Where's the other? I only see the two veil lamps. Oh, that's yep. Uh, perfect. All right. Left. Get yourself. Oh, the door is in the pockety area. So you do have to get yourself back through there after all. Well, this should be possible. Because you had to do every step so far was inevitable. Like, there yeah, was so only just... one way to start it. Oh, ooh, no. Ooh, bad, bad bounce, like you said. Just rotate it a little bit further. Oh. Just rotate a little further so you'll drop down. Yep. I, I don't want to be in the vortex myself, though. Why not? Oh, there we go. That's Perfect. It. It, did, it didn't actually matter. Okay, and now, now you I just got to rotate ball the in ball. the vortex. Ball goes in the vortex. No, not in there. Damn it. Uh, rotate it the other. Rotate the world the other direction. Yeah. Uh, go faster, ball. Oof. Okay. Yep. 
Now how do I get my rotate now yourself rotate all the way around? Now is just about yourself. Just rotate the world to get yourself in there, and the ball should do what it needs to. Do. Yeah. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Um. If I do it really, really fast and just keep yeah, going rotate further. It, oh. Not that fast. Although it, it almost seems like it needs to be that fast, but I could do that. Yes, there we ah! go. Ah! <laughs> All yeah, right. That was a little tricky, but it worked. That one was solvable. Like that. Yeah, that was solvable. Specific reference points that we could use. Ooh, fun. Oh God. Oh no, I remember this one too. <laughs> oh. Because of how much fun it was. All right. Yeah, uh, the I'm first thing I notice is these little balls in the middle, uh, in the hollows on the left and right side. That's interesting. Those are barometers, like you said. They're wet. And I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm not sure I can handle this right now. I'm not sure my brain has more bridge in it. <laughs> how many breaks did you take while you were playing? A lot. A lot. Wow. I just... The puzzles are very difficult, and at this point, I just had trouble thinking ahead. I couldn't... I couldn't conceptualize the structure. I, I couldn't... I can't hold this whole thing in my head. Well, I'm thinking... Okay, so that's how you lock this guy off. Yeah, they are barometers. That's interesting. And there's no veil here, so... Yes, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. But this is the last puzzle of the level. It is. Um. Oh, I see why this is going to be annoying, because I've got to go back to the Escher style walking around to get that ball onto that switch. Well... I seem to be doing all right here. This should... Why did you do that? I was curious if it would affect the gravity, but it only changes it me without... Yeah, it never affects anyone else's gravity. But it it sort of does, though, right? Because right now my... Oh, no. No, you're right. Okay. Uh... Ma'am. So you, uh, you're going to go ahead and suggest that we put this as a as a nice pause point and when we come back do the last of these hellish puzzles and then move on to number five yeah just because it's already been 50 minutes and i'm literally my brain is done i can't do I can't. you uh do you think that world five gets worse or or stays about the same i don't remember world five but this is some of the worst Now I'm wondering whether there is a world fiber if this is the last level. Well, there's definitely... There was another thing that I hadn't had a chance to explore yet in the house. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. All right. Well, fair enough. Hang on. I'm looking this up now because I want to know. No, this is, in fact, the last level of the main game. Wow, that was a very short game. You're right. Well, then it then it gets the extra special difficulty mode. <laughs> okay, well that's a fair point then. Uh, why don't we pause this uh, video here, and then when we come back, we'll solve the last puzzle, talk about the ending, and check out extra special difficulty yeah, mode. Get as far into it as we can, which for me again was I think two levels before <laughs> I just was done. This is tough wow. though. This is this puzzle is really difficult. It doesn't look that complicated, but it's incredibly tricky to actually manage. All right. Well, if you're watching at home, see if you can solve it before we get back. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Uh, this game. So does this game? Does it feel like the puzzles are cheap or no. poorly explained, or does it just feel like they're way too friggin' smart and it just makes you feel dumb because they're so smart? This puzzle feels elegant. 
in a way that Triad, which was the fourth level, did not. That was just... Yeah, the angle was so specific that and, you had to get. And there were not annoying. there was not enough signposting there at all. It was just Yeah, it, This is a really hard thing to conceptualize, the whole veil concept. It's difficult to hold in your head. Or at least I find it so. Well, we're here at the archway of order and chaos. As I can see at the top, it is labeled. And uh, behind that door lies the end of the bridge. Yeah, I mean, okay, here, here's here's the thing. You have got one ball, which is gray, and one sliding thing, which is veiled. You and then I need to be white to escape. Correct. You being white and in position at the door is not hard. That's easy to do. The problem is getting the ball to the switch. And the problem is there is only one path that the ball can take and because if you go around the other way it slides out and off the world so the ball has to curve around to the right follow the inside of the big square yep the problem is a you need the veil to be out of its way at two different points so you have to readjust the veil um, in the middle of its journey. And the other problem is its journey because uh, mirrors your own. Because you can only control it by gravity. Right. And it just gets increasingly... I can't. I can't. I feel <laughs> like this is a well-designed puzzle and I'm just too stupid. Triad was a poorly designed puzzle. But this is clever and elegant and doesn't have weird angles or obstructions yeah but by the time you get here even though it's only a two hour game your brain is totally fried yeah like I said I definitely turned off the game and took breaks at least twice I think wall on triad and then we only ended up beating it by cheesing it go us pretty much I don't even know how I did the first time well cool I will join you next time when we finally solve this bad boy. All right. I still think it's it's pretty. It's cool. I'm enjoying it. But yeah, you're right, man. My brain hurts. We got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you next time. Bye.